do what? He's just like a computer. He's just like a computer. But when you go to bed, it is way about a You know how you defragment a computer? Right? Defragmenting a computer. Same thing. That the brain will defragment himself. Classifying every file where they belong. Because when you're using a computer, every file you're taking, they're different from different files. So they, he do like this. So now you have many files that they belong to one another. This is why like you have a, a whole table of fruits. You have banana, strawberry, you have any type of fruits. Now they order your fruits, right? You, two apples, five bananas. Now at the end of the day, you have mixture of fruits in, in one tray. Now you need to replay to place back everywhere where they belong. So the individual likewise, Barakallah Fikum, that at the time of sleep, that his brain, Barakallah Fikum, is detached. The soul is what? Is detached momentarily from the body. That's why the ulama, Shaykh Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, he mentioned what? That the soul to the body, they have four alaqa. Four alaqa. Abdu Shakur, you remember? They have four alaqa. The soul and the body. They have four alaqa. Right? Number three is when the, 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 the person is the dream that is from the shaitan. This is why the Messenger والسلام, he mentioned if a person, if one of you had a bad dream, let him turn to his left and blow three times. Blow three times and say, A'udhu billahi min ash shaitan rajim And turn to the other side. Because indeed that was from the shaitan. Another thing is that the dream is not, is not a establishment of the religion. You cannot base your religion upon your dream. Meaning you dream about giving sadaqah, you get up in the morning give sadaqah. You dream about whatever the case might be in, in worship, you get up in the morning, you want to do it. As this individual one time, we met him, he, you know, oh, I want to give sadaqah. Why? Because my sister said that she dreamed about me, right, giving milk. That's why he came in with some milk. Now look at that. So that's why you're giving charity. Then you're not doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Know that the worship is not from a dream. Likewise, Muhammad Ilyas. What did he say? He said he was resting around the Kaaba. And he had a dream that the Prophet came to him. And tell him that you have to revive this da'wah. And this is how the tabligh came. Ahmed Tijan, the same thing. He said he had a dream. That the messenger came to him. But here he was not in a sleep. A sleep uh, he was awake fully. The Prophet came to him and gave him Salatul Fatihi. Now the dream, the dream is not Barakallah Fikum, whereas it is a fundament meaning something where you're going to extract your dalil. Or you're going to do Barakallah Fikum, you act to worship based on that. But we say and we believe that the dream of the Anbiya is naw'un min wahyillah. It is one of the types of the revelation from Allah. Ya Bunayya. Inni ara fil manami inni adbahuka. Yo, my son, Ibrahim said, I seen in my dream that I was slaughtering you. What did Ismail say? Ya abati if al ma tu umar, satajiduni mina sabirin. Oh, you, my father, do what you were commanded to do. Because he knew that his father was a prophet. And he knew that the dream of a prophet is a wahyu min Allah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He told his father, do what you were commanded. He didn't tell him, do what you had a dream about. Because here, he told him, do what you were commanded to do. So he's teaching us here that the dream of Ibrahim was a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in a person, barakallah, fika would not establish his deen based on his dream. And he will not be paranoid about his dream. That every dream that he has, Allahu Akbar. And as a matter of fact, there is a narration. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, 
that the interpretation of the dream will be binding. The interpretation of the dream will be binding. Meaning an individual going to seek the interpretation of the dream, that will be binding. So therefore, these are matters that a person will be Huh? Yes, tells him. Yes, tells him. Al iltizam. Yuqa. So it will be binding, Barakallah fikum. Whether, whatever it is. So therefore, it is a matter that a person must be very careful about. And now we have in some of the Muslim countries in Senegal, or the individual has a program, a talk show. And the TV. Huh? And the TV. Yes. You call, he's have like a, a TV time. Right? You have a dream, you call him. And this individual is a big liar, man. I mean, a big liar. You call him, you tell him, I had a dream about this and this. Man, subhanAllah, so it just shows you, man. And that shows you the, how, what people, they, they rely upon, upon their dream more than they rely upon the book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is Barakallahu Fikum in a nutshell. What is the mawqif ahl sunnah wal jama'ah in regard to dream? Yes, we say the dream. It is the dreams that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Shaykh al-Bani rahimahu alayhi mentioned about that when a person has a good dream, let him say it or narrate to, to those who he knows that they love him or her and himself they love, he loved that person. And that's why when a person tells you about a dream, you will tell him, Basharakallahu khaira. Basharakallahu khaira. For every one of us that heard the dream that this lady had about Shaykh al-Albani, rahimahullah, that made Shaykh al-Albani cry. Allahu Akbar. Made him cry. It's on you. You can, you can find on YouTube. She dreamed about Shaykh al-Albani, rahimahullah. She dreamed about Shaykh al-Albani. Shaykh al-Albani cried. And that was the end of the class that day. Allahu Akbar. But you could hear she say that, Ya Shaykh, I have a good dream for you. Shaykh was saying, Basharaki Allahu khaira. May Allah give you a good glad tiding. Or may Allah give you glad, good glad tiding. So therefore, Alhamdulillah, from yani the aspect of Ahlul Sunnah, we believe about the dream, but not like the Sufis do. For them, everything is about the dream. Khulasan. Akhi, sadaqa is not established upon dream. Because if you give sadaqa just because you have a dream, right? Did any of the sahaba, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, he used to have knowledge of the interpretation of the dream. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, he used to have these khususiyah, knowledge of the interpretation of the dream, and also knowledge of the footprint. If you look at the footprint, he can tell you who the individual is. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And never ever it was reported that Abu Bakr see a person say, I had a dream, and he told him, give sadaqah. Giving sadaqah has to have, have to be for Allah alone. Have to have ikhlas. Ala lillahi. Deen al-khalis. Ain't a for Allah, the whole of the religion for him alone. So therefore, these are the things that in our society, unfortunately, that people, they base their religion upon this. Al-manamat, as I call it. Al-manamat. Like this individual, he was, uh, 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 what you call it? A uh, security guard. And he say, hey, boss man, I had a good dream for you yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. You were supposed to be awake all night. Right? Security guard, right? What business do you have to sleep? <laughs> Let alone dreaming. You say, man, go find you another job. <laughs> oh, man, boss, I had a good dream for you yesterday. I had a good dream for you. Yo, what business do you have to sleep? You were supposed to be making sure that the house was safe the whole night. Say, oh, boss, I had a good dream for you. <laughs> okay, last one. Which one is it? You know what? And like the Christian people do, the revelation. A Muslim can come like that and he say, uh, Imam, Allah sent a message to me. To me. Subhanallah. Yeah. Allah. 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 That's from the shaitan without a doubt. A Muslim do that. 
You know, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that you will follow those who were before you, right? Those who were before you, step by step, until if they would have entered into a, a, les, a, a lizard hole, and you will follow them in it. They say, the Yahud and Nasara, he say, who else? So without a doubt, the Yahud, whatever and the Nasara do, that you will find, uh, unfortunately, among the Muslims that, that copied exactly. Well, I'll be